Hello, hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Anders Hill, of course, and welcome to some hardcore gameplay of Battlefield 3 on CN Crossing. I'm playing as a support with the M27 EAR. Nice gameplay, but that's not what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about all the awesome stuff we have found out so far about Battlefield 4. I'm gonna try to illustrate it with some pictures if I can too, depending on how long it takes me to find the pictures. I'm gonna do my best, uh, but uh, credit to the subreddit of Battlefield. 4 for all of this information and I'm taking the information from there because simply that's the best source of information and also because there's sadly very few of you guys that actually are there reading stuff and uh, posting stuff simply because yeah reddit isn't super popular most people like to watch videos so that's why I make a video of it so a little bit more people might actually want to go and read stuff there so all the credit goes to them for finding out this information uh, first off the release date of course this is something I knew by myself 29 9th of October 2013 and you could also kind of guess the beta release date the 29th of September 2013 this is just a educated guess because that's how it was with Battlefield 3 it's not confirmed yet and uh, it's gonna be available of course on both PC Xbox one PS4, Xbox 360, and PS3. 66 player maps, of course, with commander mode included, is gonna be on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Xbox 360 and PS3 is gonna kind of get pooped on again, sadly, so I don't know if you have one of those lostly mentioned ones, if you even should buy Battlefield 4. I think it's Battlefield 4 is worth playing on PC, Possibly Xbox one and possibly ps4. I mean battlefield is a PC game. No offense now But that's just how it's always been and it's always gonna have you're always gonna have the best battlefield Experience on PC, but I think it's gonna be pretty good on Xbox one and ps4 Since you're gonna have full maps with 60 FPS. That's still gonna be pretty badass uh, The DLC that are confirmed so far is uh, DLC one or the first DLC router It's gonna be China rising. We've heard about this before. It's gonna be free of charge when when you pre-order Battlefield 4. Second DLC is gonna be Drone Strike, we know nothing at all about that so far. And the third DLC is gonna be Second Assault, kinda weird, I know third DLC being called Second Assault, but it's gonna feature four fan favorite maps from Battlefield 3. So if we're lucky, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna be able to actually pick the maps ourselves or Battlefield, uh, the Battlefield the guys from DICE are basically just gonna pick the maps that have been played the most. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but I'm hoping we, we can vote, so to say, that would be pretty awesome. And they confirmed the weapons so far, and credit goes to the user WW2KEV. Assault rifles that have been confirmed so far is the QBZ95-1, CZ805, M16A3, AEK971, Heckler and Koch416. Carbines confirmed so far only two M4A1 and AK5C. Uh, sniper rifles confirmed so far is the Steyr Scout Elite, uh, the QBU88, SV98, Caltech RFB. LMGs confirmed so far MK46 Model O, Ultimax 100, QGY88, submarines, uh, or not submarines, submachine guns confirmed so far, CZ38, no, A1, P90, U100, M5K. Pistols confirmed so far M9A1, QSZ92, uh, MP412 Rex. Shotguns confirmed so far Subri Super Shorty, Sega 12. Hawk 12, the M26 Mass, and the Enrico version 1218. Don't know about that one, never heard about that weapon before. Other weapons also seen is the Milkor uh, MGL Mark 1S, uh, M320, of course, grenade launcher, RPG 7, rocket launcher, uh, FIM 92 Stinger, of course, lock on missile launcher, uh, XM 25 CDTE, don't know what that is, SRAW, don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's the American version of the RPG, and C4, we also have some grenades confirmed, the M67, the M. 34, the M84, and the MTN55. Other items confirmed are the premium add-on confirmed, uh, VEEP 
Uh, VoIP for PC, uh, Battle Packs, Motion Sensor Balls for Recon, C4 for Recon, uh, C4 can now be thrown, Customizable Secondary Weapons, pretty cool, uh, Suppression on a Recon only possible by Support Class, I love that since I love playing as Recon, uh, 5 Person Squad, uh, two types of med packs, Levolution uh, of the buildings, it's not scripted, it requires team effort, basically bringing down uh, towers uh, like in Caspian Border or like in uh, the, the China map where you bring down an entire skyscraper. Looked a little bit eerie actually, kind of reminded me of 9-11, uh, oh, oh, that was not a nice day. Anyways, uh, also we know that there's gonna be uh, flashbangs, incendiary grenades, uh, weapons, pistols can now be fired while swimming, pretty damn cool. Kill assist of 90 plus will count as a kill, pretty goddamn awesome, that if you do 90% of the damage, you're gonna get that as a kill if someone does the rest of the 10 damage. Angled grips, better initial recoil, uh, vertical grip slash foregrip, better movement whilst aiming, ability to click on a base on the map to spawn there. Three team factions, U USA, Russia and China of course, we know that since before. You can shoot fire in in sting uh, fire extinguisher, you can basically blow up fire extinguishers on the maps to create smoke screens so you can run past stuff. Uh, you can sprint, swim and you have the ability to actually dive underwater for stealth or for example if you jump into the water from a crashing helicopter you don't want to get shot straight away, you can swim under the water so you're not a sitting, sitting duck any longer. That's pretty goddamn awesome, at least in my opinion. Um, addition of uh, side sights, side mounted iron sights, two primary guns for close quarters combat, will not distort FOV. So basically, sights that should have no magnification will not actually magnify anything, only scope with magnification will not like zoom in in any way. Addition uh, of working elevators, addition of deployable roadblocks for stopping, stopping road traffic like tanks and similar, perk bar reset on squad wipe, uh, tugs and soul thumbs to return, engineers can now have AT mines and repair torch equipped at the same time, that's nice. Reloading magazines costs you to lose the remaining ammo inside it, possibly only in hardcore mode. Callouts now reveal positions of enemies, a e. enemy machine gunners to the west. That's pretty goddamn cool that they actually tell you towards which direction the enemy is too. So if you kind of know that stuff and you hear someone saying they see an enemy in the background, you know towards where to look. Confirmed vehicles so far, the Russian M1 or MI-28 attack helicopter, uh, the Russian VDB buggy, and the Chinese uh, ZFB-05 light armored vehicle, the American Cougar, the American Venom, the American Viper, the American F-18 Hornet, uh, the American 22 Osprey, the, the kind of cool uh, tilt rotating aircraft, like it's kind of like an plane and a helicopter at the same time, the Reboat, the Riven Command Boat, the DV-15 Interceptor Patrol Boat, the Jet Ski, the Type 98 Main Battle Tank for the Chinese, the Chinese uh, G-20 Jet, the Chinese WZ-10 Helicopter, the American Love, the American A-1 Abrahams, and the Amtrak for the Americans. Uh, known built-in administration features are Spectator Mode, and or battle recorder, player ping, ability to mute an annoying player in VoIP chat, player tags, player kits, in-game team balancer, that actually works, <laughs> in-game vote slash vote ban option, and also we got some more stuff but we most of them I read through and it seems like most of them has already been been mentioned earlier like sprint uh, swimming and short dives and similar but there's a little bit about the commander mode the commander mode is gonna have two different commander modes one for PC and uh, console and one mobile commander mode basically if you play on your tablets and uh, there's gonna be quite a lot of tablets that work with it uh, Apple iPad iPad mini Google Nexus Samsung Galaxy tab and uh, I'm guessing a lot more maybe Asus tabs and similar and you're also gonna be able to to, of course uh, deploy the AC-130 gunship and Tomahawk missiles and, and the UAVs and similar so it's gonna be pretty pretty cool stuff here. A lot of work was put into this video so please make sure to leave a rating maybe like it share it uh, to your friends and as usual thank you guys for watching 
Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.